Hello students, we are working with quadratic equations, no? Nature of roots, we are <coughs> seeing, talking about the nature of roots of quadratic equation. Today let us solve some more problems and conclude this chapter, okay? Uh, look at here, these are very important for the sake of exam. Is uh, <coughs> The exam is going to ask for two marks, these type of questions here. Uh, Find the value of k for which uh, quadratic equation 2x square plus kx plus 3 is equal to 0 has two equal roots. What type of the roots? Two equal roots. So given equation is uh, 2x square plus kx plus 3 is equal to 0. We have to find the value of k for which that equation, equation root of that equation becomes 0 now. Okay. So here uh, as we know that uh, a is equal to 2, b is k, c is 3. For equal roots, the condition is, what is the condition for uh, equal roots of a quadratic equation? Discriminant should be 0. That means uh, delta should be 0. For b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. Delta means b square minus 4ac. Now discriminant, discriminant b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. So therefore k square minus 4 into 2 into 3 is equal to 0 that is uh, k square minus 24 is equal to 0 means k is equal to 24 uh, k square is equal to 24 k is equal to plus or minus root 24 means uh, square root of 24 na split that one 6 fours we can split to take that 4 uh, out of the square root that is 2 root 6 Therefore, k is equal to plus or minus 2 root 6. For these two values, k, k values, the uh, roots of the equation uh, 2x square plus kx plus 3 is equal to 0 becomes equal. Okay. Plus uh, 2 root 6 minus 2 root 6. Again, two values we get for k here because uh, uh, here uh, k is... Uh, <coughs> Highest power is 2 here, that's why. Find the value of k for which uh, quadratic equation again you consider this one. That is uh, kx into x minus 2 plus 6 is equal to 0 has two equal roots. Here the uh, equation is not in the standard form. Well, first we have to take the stand, uh, equation into the standard form. Multiply kx with x plus 2 and simplify. We get uh, that kx square minus 2kx plus 6 is equal to 0. Now <coughs> the value of uh, abc are a is equal to k, b is equal to minus 2k, c is equal to 6. Now for equal roots again discriminant should be 0, b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. Minus 2k whole square minus 4 into k into 6 is equal to 0. Here 2 to the 4 that will become no, that's why minus 2k minus 2k minus into minus is plus 2k again minus in the multiply multiply with minus sign you will get uh, like this 4k square minus 24k is equal to 0 here 4 into k minus 6 is equal to 0 <coughs> here 4 minus k is equal to 0 because uh, 4 is 4, 4 by 0 is uh, 0, no, that's why k minus 6 is equal to 0. Therefore, k is equal to 6. For uh, k is equal to 6, uh, the root of uh, the equation uh, becomes equal. Equal roots we get. If you substitute k is equal to 6 and solve, you can see, verify. Uh, now, we shall... Uh, check the possible situations whether they are possible or not possible we shall check the situation <coughs> using this discriminant <coughs> is the following situation possible if so determine their present ages okay the situation is like this the sum of the ages of two friends is 20 years four years ago the product of their ages is in years was 48, 48 years. 
we have to find this situation is possible if possible we have to find their present ages okay uh, let the present age of one friend be x years okay and uh, another friend will be 20 minus x years because uh, <clears throat> one res one with respect to other we have to represent that's why four years ago one friend was x minus four years then another friend will be x minus uh, 20 minus x minus 4 we have to subtract no that is 16 minus x years according to question the product of their ages was 48 years when 8 years ago means x minus 4 into x minus uh, 4 years ago x minus 4 into 16 minus x is equal to 48 now uh, expand x plus a into x plus b for more multiply with x with x 16 minus x one time minus 4 with x 16 minus x another time you will get uh, 16x minus x square minus 64 plus 4x is equal to 48 by simplifying we get to x square minus 20x plus 112 is equal to 0 by looking over this uh, equation <coughs> here a is 1 b is a uh, this is same as ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Here a is 1, b is minus 20, c is 12. A discriminant b square minus 4ac is given by minus 20 whole square minus 4 into 1 into 112. That is minus 4, uh, that is 400 minus 448. Here delta is negative, negative. minus 48 is, uh, is less than 0. Negative number, no. So roots are not possible. Delta is negative. Discriminant is negative. Since there is no real roots exists. So the given situation is not possible. We can conclude. Based on this discriminant. Delta is negative. No, no real roots found. Uh, so the given situation is not possible. Let us consider. You see here. In this way we can verify. I will give you some uh, notable, I will give you some uh, printed notes here, notes. Uh, practice that, if possible you can write in the, in your notes, okay, uh, practice those things because uh, those are uh, repeated questions, examination repeated questions and important questions I am going to give, uh, solution also I will give, work these things and get ready for the test. Thank you students.